Morning girls, how are we doing back here in with Shanta already? Because uh, I obviously just couldn't avoid this. The second I opened it up, it was like a couple minutes ago it was posted, it just says, I have diabetes. And I just was like, okay. <laughs> it's like, okay. We're, we're back on the, the health trend thing. Came out, tried to own the haters with the with the car. She's been going after a bunch of her haters. She's been going after FFG recently with the we the skit thing that I reviewed. She's been calling her out in the community notes. She's gone after another creator called Yabba. Um, I don't know them, but I know she went after him. It was like trying to mock someone I think in Yabba's life, but unfortunately he died. Um, I'm I'm not sure like if this is clickbait or not. And it shows her holding up a little pump um, thing, so I'm assuming it's real, but. It's one of those things at the same time where I always make a point that anytime like uh, one of these like morally obese log cars gets in a lot of trouble, the first thing they do is a medical shield. Um, all of them do it. Amber does it. Foodie's done it before. I, my favorite foodie moment. Everyone's like, oh, the the attempted uh, breaking and entering or the Cuba rage. My favorite thing was solely that she one time was like around about the time Sam's Bar Lounge was releasing videos and they said they were going to release one on her. And she did an ERBs where she was like, guys, I can't breathe that well like i've been having trouble breathing for like a day now and that's like really scary so i'm going to go to the er and she stopped at starbucks on the way it's one of those ones where she used to live stream filming herself and she stopped at like starbucks on the drive to the er and then came out afterwards like guys i find out i have an enlarged heart and it's like bro you're 450 pounds of fucking course you have an enlarged heart like no shit i feel like i'm gonna feel the same way with the diabetes <laughs> it's gonna be like guys i have diabetes it's like yeah, your blood's probably like syrup at the size of you. Like, this isn't shocking. Uh, let's get into it. I'm working on a new intro. Good, that's the important thing. I was worried about that in regards to this diabetes. <laughs> is this like a serious thing? Wouldn't you not have your hello or anything? Like, just randomly in it? Oh, God. Hello, foodie beauties. I wonder if for her new intro, she's going to be like, hello, diabetes. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Like, I just, I, this is so out of place. It's so, Beezers. this is all, what a that is also out of place. We're skipping the cameo thing. Guys, I have, I have cameo just in case you want to get it. If you want any, like, cameos of my feet, you might as well get in before I lose them to the diabetes. Like, what, why is this here? Why is this here in this apparent like, serious video? Fantastic, let's skip. Hey guys, so. Hey guys, so. <laughs> we seriously just went from the cameo thing to. Hey guys, so, <laughs> oh, I can't wait. What the fuck is she wearing? Jesus Christ, she's like wearing like seven layers. So, this is going to be like two videos. Uh, guys, make sure you like and uh, subscribe as well and hit the bell so you can get all my diabetes updates, you know, straight on the homepage. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what, what the fuck is this video? But it's like the same day. Okay, so, sure. Um, That's a really weird way to say I am deliberately spitting this video into two parts because I want to monetize the shit out of it. It's a really weird thing to just be like really brazen and just come out and say that. But okay, cool, bro. It's going to be a bit weird, I guess. Uh, anyway, you, know, uh, well, so you monetize your diabetes, yeah, I'm will we? to talk about my, a bit about my health uh -huh. uh, update. I can't wait. Um, I'm not going to do a weigh in right now. Probably do that tomorrow. Okay. I can't wait to not believe the way in. It's going to be, what, two videos in one day? So I'll do my way in tomorrow. So it's not going to be part of either of these two videos? <laughs> what, okay, fantastic. I'm just going to say, I'm not going to believe, like, whatever her, her way in is because look, we all know she's, like, over 400 pounds now. She did the, the 350 way in, and then when Pete stepped on the scale, it was, like, 100 pounds off. So I'm assuming she's she done with that scale. So I'm assuming she's at least over 400 pounds. She looks... A lot heavier than she did when she originally went to Q it. So I can't, I can't wait for her to guys, guys, and 290 pounds. But I am going to take my blood sugar jumps, because jumps I do have that yeah. monitor now. Yeah, I And I, I want to show wait. you guys what my blood sugar is. It's maple syrup. Um, and I have been taking my blood sugar. It's kind of a problem. You have been taking your blood... What? <laughs> And you should know what it is right now. Like, if you if, if it's like something you like frequently take, I'm assuming you should know what it is. Well, it is a problem, a big yeah. enough problem. So, let me get to that first. Are we meant to be shocked by this? I have my kit. I was like, are we meant to be shocked by this? It's like, guys, it is, it, it, it is actually a problem. It's like, bro, you're like 450 pounds. I can look at you and go, there's a few problems there. Oh my god. 
Well, you, you just want to make sure. Put my... No, no. I, I put it back in. Take it out six more times. you got to get as many ads in as possible. Just do this as slowly as humanly possible. Wow, could you be more fucking blatant? Jesus Christ. You're the reason I have ad block. And sit in. I won't show the the blood part. Don't worry. Wow. Oh, no. You don't want to be demonetized. Here. Oh, my God. She actually is doing no, this I did eat. as deliberately slowly as possible. Holy actual shit. Maybe like an hour and a half. Maybe an hour hour and a half ago so it's not going to be like a fasting blood sugar but even my fasting blood sugar is like is like maple syrup more or less like sometimes salad does like prick me if we are having pancakes in the morning i thought it was a wee bit weird at first but he told me i should try it and you know what it actually isn't that bad <laughs> like i'm what the fuck are we doing here this is the weird this is so weird okay i can't wait i don't, I don't really know the diabetes levels so I don't, I, I'm going to be pretty bad at this. I'm just going to have to take her word for it. And by that, I mean, I'm instantly going to have to Google it the second she says something. <laughs> pretty high. So we're ready to go. Okay. I'm such a baby with the finger picking. I hate it. Yeah, sure. It startles me. Just like it, right, it makes sense. Because honestly, you know, when, when you're 450 pounds, it, you're, you definitely seem like someone who, who doesn't want to treat your body poorly and like cause damage to your body. I. <laughs> okay, bro. Getting your ears pierced. Three, two, one. Cha cha. Why does that say 101 now? I'm not sure what this is, okay? I'm really not sure what, what that was, but in the top corner it said 101 there. And when she showed it to us like 10 seconds ago, it said 304, uh, 349. So I don't know what that is. I thought that was like time. Like it is currently 349 p.m. or whatever. So why do we go back in time by two hours? Three. Say? See, it says 101, you know? But I thought that... It definitely said 349 a second ago. So I'm assuming we're just, like, time-skipping all over the place here. Like, I don't know, maybe she... Maybe the one she took, because she, she did say, like, she's been doing them recently. And she said, about an hour and a half ago, I ate. So, it's, you know, it's not going to be good. So do you think, like, when she went and got the 349 one, she was suddenly like, oh, this is, re this is actually really bad. And then she did the like a one at one o'clock. She did the one she'd done earlier that day before she'd eaten. She showed that instead because she's worried that the other one seems too high. So this is actually her fasting one, which I think is low, the blood sugar should be lower instead of the other one. I I could be being totally schizo. I don't know what any of this fucking means. And that's just my assumption because 101, why was it not 349 a second ago? So I I, I don't know. 16. Oh yeah, 316, I, I I don't know what that is. One only second, I'm gonna have to Google search that. Okay, I had a look there, and like I said, I don't really know anything, but it says over 300 is basically dangerous. <laughs> so, I, I'm assuming 316 is, 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 a, is a bad number. <laughs> That's really high from what I gather. I'm not used to the MGDL. From what I gather? Like, shouldn't, you know? Like, I'm sure when you got that from whatever doctor it was, they probably explained to you what the fuck out. Like, I, I, I just did like, literally a fucking 10 second Google search. And I was like, yeah, it seems really high. She's like, it seems high from what I know. I'm confused though. I'm sure there's a book or you could like specifically search what it is. <laughs> Usually it's MMOL. It's weird that it hasn't When I was changed. in Canada, I had that machine. Uh -huh. um, so my blood sugars have rocketed. In not I'm going to say, I, I guarantee they haven't rocketed. I'm pretty sure your blood sugar has always been high. You probably were just lying before about, about your diabetes, if I'm, be if I'm being real with you. Also, you know what? Maybe the daily mukbangs, maybe they didn't help. Not that long. Sure. Not that long of a time. Uh, time period. And... You know, I know it's, I'm not taking- I'm genuinely curious what the fucking, like, deadly premonition, like, soundtrack music playing in the background is. Like, what the fuck, I'm assuming, I'm waiting for her to have, like, an awkward coffee date with some crazy old lady. If anyone gets that reference, I'm actually somewhat proud of you. I don't care of my health. I mean, it's not rocket science. I mean, yeah, you're you know, anyone with eyes can see yeah. that I'm not taking very good care of my health. I know, imagine. Um, struggling with... Yeah, but you're too busy. But yeah, yeah, I'm not taking really good care of my health, but you know, I'm, I'm just busy spending my money trying to convince Alan to leave me by buying a car that might catch fire literally this second. Honestly, it could be on fire right now. We haven't checked in the last 20 minutes. They recommend that in the in the brochure. Check at least every 15 minutes that your car hasn't run and caught fire. <laughs> but you know, but I'm also being really good. I'm really looking after Julianne all night because I'm not Cat Hitler anymore. But you know, my, my body's slipped though. That's the one thing I've let slip. Um... 
eating habits and lack of exercise um and all that dude it was like four weeks ago you were in thailand you were talking about how like you have the fittest you have ever been in like your entire life walking doesn't bother you at all anymore even though you, you spent like three or four weeks straight like hiding in your hotel room you were claiming i don't get tired anymore i can walk for ages now i'm out every day at uh, at attractions and events for hours and hours and hours even though everything she showed was like something you could do in like 30 minutes um but yeah no that, that no, now, now suddenly she's unfit now when it suits her narrative now she's unfit stuff so 316 when i fast and wake up i take my blood sugar it was 230 around sure. that I don't so, believe um which is still high it should be yeah. like like i think around 100 if i'm not mistaken Probably. so i don't know um i went to see a doctor here about it um you know i told salah my and then he threw a harpoon at me it was very offensive if i'm being honest with you <laughs> blood sugar is pretty high and, and he didn't care um and he was just like bitch come just get me the fucking papers before you go holy shit or do you have life insurance do you have life insurance is it worth is it's worth it's how much you're fine do you want to know mcdonald's <laughs> he said i'll take you to a doctor tomorrow whenever i wow. took my blood what a good husband he's a keeper i was like it was like 369 when i took it that night Giggity. and um, it was after a day of not eating very well and so i told is that your day of not eating very well like um today and yeah yes yes yesterday i won well, the day before that and well, I'm the day before that. And the day before that, I'm probably the day before that. Like, bro, when the fuck have you had a day where you ate well? The doctor about my problem. Um, my blood pressure is also high. He mooed at me. So before I go on any medications, I just want to give it an honest try for now with diet and exercise. <laughs> oh, and, no! Um, they did say it's the main thing that will help if I... Really? They did? Huh. I see why they pay doctors the big bucks. I was sitting here being like, you should have a magic fucking pill. Oh my God. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to an honest attempt this time. Not like any of the other times. An honest attempt this time where I'm going to do diet and exercise, guys. I, fuck me. This video came out like 15 fucking minutes ago. And I guarantee before I finish editing this, there will be a mukbang post. <laughs> Last time, but you did her gym thing as well. She just suddenly came out. She's like, I hear guy, I want to fucking went to Taco Bell at 3 a.m. <laughs> I cannot fucking wait. Get, get yourself down there. Do that. I have to go backwards again. Reduce some weight. Oh, reduce beautiful. weight. Watch what I eat. Of oh, course, they say limit carbs, yeah. which I understand now. Process like limiting um, the it's all the limiting the sugar, it's all that fresh bread you keep eating. That's what destroyed you. Sugar because I have a problem regulating sugar now, so I need uh -huh. to really limit yes. that in my body. I can't wait until good luck. I can get this under control, and then I just realized probably like it's just like a, a outsider looking at. I probably seem very heartless. I am. I, I just I have no sympathy for people who do shit to themselves, especially if like you're sitting there going like she probably had this for fucking ages and she was just lying before because she wanted to gloat to people. This is just convenient for her now to pull this because she's getting so much shit. This is just really convenient for her. I have no sympathy. I it, it, I have no sympathy if you do something to yourself in particular. Especially when she's come out with the bullshit. Guys, I'm going to try and diet and exercise. Like I said, how many times since she even came to Kuwait has she tried to pull that shit? Like, it, it, it just doesn't affect me. I, I'm just, I, I'm guess heartless in regards to like this kind of shit. But I'm like, bro, there are like real issues in the world. Real people have like real issues that were not in any way under their control. You, you literally fucking chose this because, like, you're such a boring, bad person. You can't get a fucking job. Uh, so you decide to do mukbangs every single day for attention. Uh, own uh, whoops a dipsies for you. <laughs> um, I'm going to go back in a month's time. And if my blood sugars are still out of whack, I'll have to go on medication. Wow. So I'm really, really wanting to give it, uh, you know, try harder than I've ever tried in my life. I don't think I've ever really tried super hard because... I don't think it... you've ever tried, like, there, that, that, see that, that that word? That's where you put the full stop. Like, not the super hard bit, the, just the tried. I don't think you've ever fucking tried. The one time you lost weight was because you are on coke. It gets really hard, which it really is. I just give up. You know, I just yeah, give up. imagine. I panic. Yeah, you, you did a minute on an elliptical and quit, like I know. I, I listen to the urges and I just don't just don't yeah imagine don't give it enough, enough of a try yeah no shit and i'm getting up there in age i'm 39 oh i God. 
could Basically be living that. a very active, happier life. <laughs> oh, could you? Healthier. Okay. You know, healthy, health is happiness for sure. No shit. Um, yeah, but the, see, the thing is, that, like, all of this just comes across, like, I, Amber and Boogie both have made exactly the same statements. It is bizarre when I'm looking at Boogie and I'm seeing going through some of his stuff to talk about his boxing and you see him like like coming out and going like, I've already won just by being here today. I worked so hard to be here. And then you realize that he is like heavier than he was at the start of of his journey. And like he is like out of shape and he could barely extend. Because he just, he just didn't. He just did not try in any way. He, he had this big chance. Oh, I'm going to go and lose all this weight and work really hard for this boxing event I have. That isn't going to be a freak show uh, event. It's going to be me showing you guys how far I've cut. And then he just did literally nothing. He didn't even do boxing training. And he's like, oh. Cool. It's exactly how I feel with her. Her saying, I could be living a much happier and better life. It's like, yeah, no shit. I could be being healthier. Yes, no shit. You're like a one on the health scale. Like literally being a two on the health scale. It would be better than for, for you. That is how unhealthy you are. You can't enjoy life if you're not healthy. Wow, I mean, my really? trip to Thailand Really? You keep flexing awesome, on us. But it could have been so much more awesome if I felt well. It could have been so much more awesome if you left the hotel. You, I, it just doesn't make any sense. She literally claimed in Thailand that she was so much fitter than she's ever been. And she did so much. Oh, you hitters. Ah, I'm flexing and you. I'm doing so much. Even though we all laughed at her because she was very clearly just sitting in her like hotel room for weeks on end. Like, yeah, you're, you're, obviously your Thailand trip could have been better if you actually left the hotel. Um, I don't feel well. I feel Aww. like I have no energy. Aww. I feel like I'm 80 years old. Mm. Um, let's face it. Your I body probably, probably is. Really physically have the you know the physical capabilities uh some even 80 year olds even have more of physical cap she seemed like what when she did the elliptical thing and she was wrecked afterwards she could like pretend to be more depressed better than than whatever we're doing here because she doesn't really come across like she's sad or depressed in any way like i she don't i don't know it's, it's the most like i don't give a shit kind of attitude i've ever seen like yeah, she, it's like she's trying to stop herself from like smiling and laughing half the time. It's kind of weird. Abilities of me, and I'm not being hard on myself. I'm just actually not, being really realistic. No, you're not being hard enough on I yourself. Feel. And it's a lot worse than it's ever been, hey, feelings-wise. So I, um, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm, I'm probably just gonna do just like diet and exercise. Literally existing for you is exercise. Literally not eating. 4,000 calories a day for you is exercise. Like, I, I'm so confused. Bros. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. I'm not being hard. No, no, that's the one thing you should be, is being hard on yourself. You should be sitting going like, you know what? I'm a bit of a fuck up. Probably should address that at some point during my existence. That's the kind of like thing you should do. Like, but, but you're not. And that's, that's literally why we're here is because you're narcissistic and you think you're incredible and you think like you're totally like blameless. It's, it's like when you see her compare herself, like even in the skits where she ran. And I, I remember like, I was like, why didn't I comment on that all the time? But she was like insulting FFG. Uh, oh yes, because I was laughing at her for something else. She was insulting FFG with that thing going like, you know, FFG, aren't you 300 pounds though? And it's like, do you think that's a, Flex? Oh, well, how can you insult Chantel? You're 300 pounds. It's like, well, Chantel's like 450 pounds. That's how she can like flex on her. She is like two thirds her weight. <laughs> like that, that, that is, that's, that's how she can flex on her. But like Chantel doesn't seem to like think her and like FFG are that far apart in terms of body size, which is like, Jesus fuck. This list here, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. lose weight. Yeah. Um, Look how easy that shit is. Oh, stop smoking. Oh, she will be so fucking sad. But she keeps trying to explain that the shisha thing doesn't matter because it's filtered through water, guys. So it's absolutely fine. Exercise regularly. Literally, you can walk. You can just walk. Like, lose weight. Eat. Like, th that's just th these ones together. Drink more water. Yeah. Well, why she drinks loads of water, guys? It, it's. I'm sorry. This, is, this isn't hard. This isn't like rocket science. It, for... For anyone like this size, it isn't ever rocket science on how to lose weight. Like, oh, I have a medical issue or anything like that. It's like, yeah, so that might account for a couple extra pounds. It's not going to account for 450 pounds, you know? Um, it's not rocket science. It is just eat less, find out what your like base metabolic rate is, eat less than that, and exercise. 
And I'll, for you, all you need to do in exercise, you can do chair exercises, you can walk. That is it. You don't need to be like, well, guys, I'm going to go downstairs and get on that elliptical again. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You'll never, you'll never be fit enough to do that. Like, at your weight, I should say. Like, so, so just walk. That's all you need to do. And it's just like, oh, guys, I don't know how I'm going to manage it. It's like, it, it literally is just willpower. For people at our size, it is just willpower that can be eating disorders and everything like that but those can be overcome with willpower she's the one who said that she was going to therapy she hasn't mentioned it since so i'm assuming the therapy thing is just kind of fucked away off out the window but that, that probably would help i need to be consistent with light exercise even if it's just walking in the evening because yep. that will get cardiovascular system going oh, metabolism oh, going oh, the big it's words healthy it's not going to be the number one culprit for weight, weight loss right now I understand that because what? I need to start with my diet. I oh, need shit. to cut out all the bad things, all of the bad things. It's so bad that she is doing this thing that so many people do at their size where they're like, oh, I'm not going to do like everything. I'm just going to say like, I'm not going to exercise more because exercising more right now, it, it, it wouldn't matter because they eat too much. So I'm just going to focus on eating less. It's like, no, well, get the exercising going. You might as well, because e e eating less, changing your diet thing, is not going to be like an overnight thing. So you might as well get the exercise and thing started. Like, as your exercise s starts and it slowly increases, your dieting should, like, start and slowly decrease the amount you eat, and then it should meet in the middle and then pass each other. That's how that's how it should go. Instead of being like, well, I'm not going to start exercising until I've got my diet fixed. It's like, well, then you're never going to start exercising. And, um... It's just really bad how I eat. So I haven't really been ordering out um, really all that much okay. compared to how I used to. But yeah, I've only ordered out 17 times this month instead of 30. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. When you have to quantify it, just stop. Don't say that. Just don't say it because it's like you're so clearly patting yourself on the ass for like the bare, that's the bare minimum level of shit. This should be like, this is, this is the woman who said, I'm not, like what, two weeks ago? No more takeouts. I mean, they started doing takeout again. Then she says, oh, I'm gonna, not gonna get from these places because of my whatever fucking boycott. It's like, but you couldn't even handle that. Like people, every single time she had one, pointed out stuff that she was getting that was against her own boycott. She couldn't even with her, a boycott in place, stop herself from eating like fast food. Like just, you should, you should just stop. You should just stop it all together. It's like, well, I've cut down a little, I guess. But I have been cooking a lot of things at home. Like, if I don't order out... <laughs> There's a lot of 5 a.m. You know, like, sure. I'm going to make a cobbler. I'm going to make cookies. I'm going to make a uh, potato. Oh, my God. Jesus, she looks... Like, this This is what I say about her. Like, she's not taking this seriously. She doesn't come across like she's acting seriously. Like, oh, I'm guy. I, I'm doing so well. I'm cooking at home. I'm making cookies. Yes, the 450-pound fucking diabetic woman is making cookies. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro. <laughs> like, just... Like, I just, I don't, I don't get it. Like, of course, she just, like, looks fucking mental in general. But, I'm sorry. This is silly. It's, it's just silly. You're not convincing anyone. You're not convincing anyone that you're a good housewife. Because, of course, you can't take this diabetes thing seriously. You've got to also insert, by the way, I'm a good housewife. Like, I know I don't come across like, at, at all, but I'm a good, I'm really good at I, I make so much, like, big cookies and all. And I make peach cobbler, and I put it on the windowsill, and the children of the neighborhood come. It's like it's like we're in a 1950s fucking white picket fence America. Suddenly, it's so lame. In, you know, I find ways to get to the bad food, and uh, even if it takes more effort. <sighs> so, I need to start, and I need to really, really, really put effort into it. And when the going gets tough, the tough will get going. I just have to get through it. Yeah. Lifestyle changes for the better are so difficult, you know. But with sugar readings this high, I don't even know what that is in MMOL, maybe 60. No one gives a fuck. No one gives a fuck. We, we can convert ourselves. You don't have to just randomly guess at it, especially when it's technically you said you didn't understand it whatsoever. I want to show it again because I want to see if my, my timestamp thing is accurate because I have no idea why there was that jump or something like that that's that's really up what it was when i was like 400 pounds but and you're over 400 pounds like visibly you're over 400 pounds she went to q8 pretending to be like 370 pounds was it she pretended to be like that like she's like visibly put on a huge amount of weight since then and i said guys i might be over four he's like well you're clearly over 400 pounds the last time i weighed myself not long ago i was three 
Okay. 50 or 360. <laughs> I'm going to weigh myself. To <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, bro. Cool. What? Yeah. Whatever. Yep. Okay. Cool. I'm glad. Glad we're going into this with with, with our honesty fucking bod showing. Oh Tomorrow Christ. Tomorrow morning. Um, film that. Uh, I'm not doing this for any other reason than to get money just on be YouTube. Transparent with myself mostly, and just. Then you wouldn't be putting out an online. Like, can we just can we not do this thing? Can we can we not do the Amberlin excuses? Cool. Thanks. Just um, get better, you know, and I want to have some kind of online support system. I yeah, she's trolling. Okay, you over? She she overdid it. She's trolling now. Okay, you played your hand. I'm I'm. I guess I'm bored now. I, yeah, yeah. Okay. Guys, I just want an online support system. Everyone hates you. This video has uh, likes and dislikes already um, disengaged. Um, like. <laughs> Come on. I need an online support. No one likes you. Like, might sound a bit mean, girly, but no one likes you. I'm sorry, bro. So, yeah, so they, either she is just purely delusional and she thinks that she has an online support system of this, like, fucking nonsense, or this is just purely for attention because, I guess, her videos haven't been performing very well recently and she's trying to get more money going into the Christmas period. So I guess that's what it's going to be. Everyone who's struggling as well to come together and uh, try to do this, you know. And I say that, but I'm afraid that I'll let people down. But no, you um, don't care about people. There's don't not lie. really much don't more lie. option for fear. Don't lie. You, you, when your fucking bees just been like docs during the music fest Marty thing, you didn't give a fuck. I'm afraid of letting people down with my weight loss. No one gives a shit. Failure at this point. I mean, my health is not good. You know, I have sleep what? apnea, no. I have a CPAP what? machine, no. I have high blood pressure, I what? have no. diabetes. What? No. Um, Next you're going to tell me that you're morbidly obese. What? <laughs> yeah, literally everything you listed there, like, most people could just guess looking at you. Like, yeah, bro. No shit. I... I have more reasons to be a victim. I'll one more second. I'll think of something here. I was in denial so long about that, like because I thought no, you weren't. I'm pre-diabetic. I'm pre-diabetic. I'm not going to become diabetic. I don't know why I was. Well, actually, you boasted and claimed that you cured your like your diabetes because she was claiming like she's pre-diabetic and she cured it. So such denial that I would ever get diabetes. Like, um, you know, I don't know. I really don't know how my brain works with that, but that's how well, it you're is. You're stupid. That's you know, why. I have depression, anxiety. No, you're well, you're narcissistic. That's why. If you, if you honestly thought you would never get diabetes, because it's because your main character syndrome. You're like narcissistic. You think, oh well, I couldn't possibly get it. I'm too special and amazing. That's why. That would be why if you actually thought that way. I have all these things I just need to reverse, and exercise can also help with depression and anxiety as well. So what? Wow. They say it takes 21 days Guru Lin. Right, to build Guru Lin. <laughs> good habits. That's about to call her Guru Lin. Guru Foodie Beauty here right here telling us that exercise can be a good thing. Even though earlier on she literally just said she isn't really going to focus on exercising until she does her diet. So, what? It's if you're consistent. So that's what I just need to do. Yep. Instead if of quitting else, after one day like usual. Um, it's just like a daily video diary of how I'm doing. Um, oh, maybe like a vlog God. style what I'm going to eat. I don't even oh, know. Sure. I don't even want to really eat because I look at my my stomach. I look at the flesh on my body, the fat amount of fat I have. I have a lot of... What an inhuman way to describe it. I look at my stomach, the flesh on my body, the flesh and the amount of fat. <laughs> like, who, who, what the fuck? <laughs> Is she like a fucking reptilian? Energy storage that... Um, the energy storage. I could be using Who describes it as that? I don't feel like I want to put more calories in my body. I'm Sala fucking got to her. Holy shit. We all knew Sala was a fucking robot from the future. We never realized that his plan was to secretly transform Chantel into a robot as well. Who fucking talk? I look at this body. The flesh. The flesh of my human body. That is an energy store. And I realize I should be using this energy store of flesh to uh, control my automation. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, she actually has been replaced, guys. Fucking, I don't think she's blinked a single time this entire video. I mean, I'm gonna have to watch for that because that's the one thing they always forget to program. I mean, I have- Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> lasted like half a second.
I was hoping the joke could go a little longer. <laughs> so many already, you know? Oh my god. <sighs> anyway. She's so thick, and everything she does. I want to give does. my body a chance to break down some of that and use it. Yeah, sure. Oh my god, she's so fucking performative. She, oh, she, she looks like fucking 200 years old here. She actually does look like a fucking Russian babushka or whatever the fuck they're called. She actually does look like a Russian granny here now. Anyway, if you guys have any suggestions... Yeah, stop being so fat. Um, there you go. Diet, exercise. Because I know a lot of you have been through things, and a lot of you have been successful. So share your ideas with me. I really need the help. Like, comment, subscribe below, guys. Just so you know, this definitely isn't clickbait for the algorithm. But tell me down below, guy. Oh, my cringe. Help. Um, and be, you know, as long as you're polite and constructive, I have no problem with you. Yeah, leaving sure. Okay. Feedback. Okay. You know, never. Let's see how long I, I appreciate know. it. What? <laughs> no, you don't. So that's my story right now. Um, I have another video I'm going to put out. It's Can't wait. Uh, gonna be a what I eaten in a day video. What I eaten in a I've day. Been video, I've been <laughs> what uh, I eaten bread in a day. <laughs> Oh my Christ, she's really dragging this one out. Holy shit! Do you think she's talking? Cause like, remember Amber Lynn jumped into her her um live stream recently. Like this is way more of an Amber Lynn kind of video than a foodie beauty video for like her recent stuff at least. Do you think she was talking to Amber Lynn and Amber said, "Oh, if you need more money in the run to Christmas, you should pretend you have like a medical emergency and like really fucking milk it and do this like really slow, really drawn out video where you very slowly explain stuff because it's it's so it's so fake." Like, even compared to her, her usual style of fakeness, it's different than her usual style of fake, fakeness. It's not even, like, the low BMI. This is more like an amber kind of fakeness where she pretends to care about something. Uh, journaling. Oh, my God. Like a food journal to see. I was right. This is 100% amber. Like, right, fucking straight into journaling after. I'm right. I'm right. To show you guys and myself, because I don't do mm, this often. Yeah. A full day of how I eat, so I can really see visually wow, this is really what I'm doing. Just on you know, What I'm putting in my mouth. What's contributing. Definitely not Salah. <laughs> he, will, he will appear in exactly zero of those pages. Into these, these health issues, and I'm sure it's just overeating and overeating bad things. Are you sure about that? No. I... I don't know. I think we need an entire team. I think we should get, like, Mensa in here, set up a research laboratory, find out what, because I can't imagine this because you overeat. Like, what? Who else eats off a dinner plate that is literally the top of a fucking bin lid? <laughs> like, like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, no, done. This is, this is so clearly fake. Let's hurry up and get to the end. I'm done. So, but I want to see. Yeah. So I'm going to do this whole day, and then tomorrow we're going to, you know, get getting to get going <laughs> kicking our butts into gear so um okay. yeah stay tuned for that video i'm going to show you what i ate like subscribe guys uh, today and um go from there wow anyway guys i thank you so much for listening i know it's like here we go again it's and so... i don't blame people but yeah i guess i'm, time you do. Will tell, I'm sure you, you do know? yeah i i do think time will tell i'm sorry what like genuinely the music is like probably the most off-putting bit about this because it's too loud to be like just like soft background music and it's like, she doesn't usually put music in her videos. I, I, I don't get it. I think she probably realizes that her video... Because like when I first started making like YouTube videos, I had like a bit of music in the background because I was like, well, who's going to want to sit there and just listen to my fucking dry-ass voice just slowly drone on about shit? So I assume she realizes, like, guy, this is, a, this is a bit long of me just sitting there mumbling away about shit. So she probably put that on to try and compensate. I'm really going to really, really try because... Those blood sugar levels are really scary. My blood pressure so is scary. scary. I don't want to go on medication for life. And if I can avoid... You should be on medication for like everything else that's wrong with you already though. It, reversing, you know, reversing these things with a healthy lifestyle. I can't Or wait. making them manageable. I will love that. Yeah. So, sure. yellow. Wow, that was like such a genuine ending there. This definitely isn't clickbait at all, guys. It's definitely not because like the ad revenue, I think, is like the best this time of year heading it towards Christmas. And now suddenly, I have diabetes. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. She played her hand too hard, especially with the, I just, I'm only doing this online because of my online support structure of you guys. I, I actually, I, I made it as a joke initially, but I kind of feel... Amberlynn might be helping with this because this doesn't feel like a her video. This feels more like an Amberlynn video. Um, she is so fake. She can't even convey that she actually believes this or this is real in any way, guys. So, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.